Hi guys! So today naman, ang i-discuss natin is yung competition ng MP2. So kung makikita nyo dito, for 500 monthly savings, mag magkano ba yung magiging value ng savings natin kapag naglagay tayo ng 500 per month? And magkano na siya after 5 years? Kasi si MP2, 5 years lock-in period siya. Okay. So, for example, nag-start tayo ng 2020 and 500 per month. So, that's 6,000 per year. And assume natin na ang payout is 243.75. So, that's around 4%. Okay, so iba-iba kasi per year, iba-ibang percentage per year yung dividend rate. So, for example, nag-continuous ka na naghulog ng 500 per month. Ang magiging return mo, after 5 years is 35,718.75. So, kumita ka ng, ng 5,718.75. Pag sa banko, hindi mo yung kikitain kasi sobrang giit lang, less than 1% nga eh, kapag sa bank. So, ito yung kinaganda ng MP2. And then, what if compounded savings naman? So, ayan. Kapag compounded, kasi ibibase nila yon doon sa uh, kapag hindi ka nag-withdraw, for example, 6,000 plus yung dividend amount mo. So, ito yung total cumulative. And then, mag um, kikerry over siya on the next year. Tapos, dun yung basis ng annual dividend rate. So, ayan. So, mas mataas kapag compounded. 6,266.14 compared doon sa 5,718.75. Okay? So, what if naman mas mataas ang iyong hulog. Like, for example, 1,000 per month. So, for example, 1,000, so that's 12,000 per year. And ang annual dividend payout mo for the first year is 48,750 and so on and so forth. So, doble siya. So, kung nakikita mo, 11,437.5 yung magiging um, dividend payout mo. Okay. So, di ba ang saya kesa naman i-invest mo sa not guaranteed kasi ito government guaranteed siya right and then kapag compounded naman mas mataas talaga kapag compounded versus dito sa kukunin mo yung payout mo yearly okay so magkano naman sa 1 million pesos So, dito sa 1 million pesos, assume natin na 7.5% yung interest rate. So, kung nagulog ka ng one time na 1 million, meron kang 75,000 na payout. One time lang yun, ha? So, every year, meron kang payout na 75,000. So, that's 375,000 pesos after 5 years. So, ibig sabihin talaga mas maganda dito kaysa ilagay mo yung isang million mo sa banko. Kasi after 5 years, meron ko na agad sure na 370. So, after 5 years, meron ko na agad 375,000. So, ito depende to ha. Depende to sa dividend rate per year. Pero, um, based sa historical returns ni pag-ibig ranging from 4 to 8%. So, makikita nyo yun dito. Ayan, dividend rates. So, as you can see, ranging from 4 to 8% ang dividend rate ni MP2. So, kapag sa bank ko yan, less than 1%, hanggang 6% lang, or 3% pa lang. So, dito, mas mataas siya. Okay. So, ayan. So, paano ba mag-save? Ayan. So, i-create ka lang ng MP2 savings account via virtual pag-ibig. So, punta ka lang dito sa pagibigfund.gov.ph and either via virtual pag-ibig or pwede kang pumunta sa any pag-ibig branch para mag-fill out ng form and makapag-open ng account. So, yan. So, pwede ka rin makapag-save using, using virtual pag-ibig or accredited collecting partners. So, ayan guys. Tara na, mag-save na tayo sa MP2. So, um, ayun, um, do not put all your eggs in one basket. So, pwede kayong maglagay sa banko for emergency fund. 
dito for your investment and sa ibang investment channels. Para ma-diversify yung mga investments nyo. And yung risk is calculated or diversified yung risk. Ayan. So, kapag meron tayong mga questions, so punta lang tayo dito sa... Meron silang hotline number to. Tignan nyo lang dyan or may email din sila. Contact us at pagibigfund.com.ph or may chatbot din sila. So, dito naman may kita nyo yung virtual pag-ibig for members, for employers, and for developers. So, punta tayo sa for members. Ayan. So, data privacy, check nyo lang yan and proceed. Tapos... At yung virtual pag-ibig nyo. So, enjoy pag-ibig fund or services anytime, anywhere with the virtual pag-ibig. It's easy, it's convenient, it's your link code pag-ibig 24-7. So, dito, be a member, pay online, apply for and manage loans, view records, claim pag-ibig savings, create account, login. So, tignan natin dito, pay online. Ayan. So, pwede kayo dito magbayad. For example, ito. Uh, tignan natin sa regular savings. Ayan guys, so kapag nakalimutan nyo yung pag-ibig MID number ninyo, pwede nyo ipasilip sa any pag-ibig branch para um, malaman ninyo kung ano yung pag-ibig number ninyo. And then, meron din dito, so yan, may kita nyo dyan, MP2 savings. So, pwede na kayong magbayad dito. Okay, that's the next text lang ninyo. Okay, so eto very important yung account number dito pag meron na kayong account number mp ibig sabihin kasi modified pag ibig to ayan dito naman sa housing loan ayan so ano ba yung mga payment method ayan may gcash ayan local overseas gcash pinaka mabilis so dito di ba makikita niyo dito payment method Gcash or credit or debit card. So, pwede na hassle-free lang. And then, yan, multi-purpose loan and calamity loan. So, madami kayong, madami tayong pwedeng um, gawin dito sa virtual pag-ibig. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel para makagawa pa ako ng mas maraming content about savings, investment, insurance, freelancing, and more. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.